in Knoxville, one of the great venues in all of college football and home to the Tennessee Volunteers. And this crowd knows that when the balls run through the tee, they are in for a show. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the UTEP Miners, taking on the seventh ranked team in the land, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Miners will get us underway with the opening kickoff. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Volunteers' offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. The Volunteers want to crank the tempo. Looking to pass. It's Iamaleava. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Another big play on the outside, and that's the thing that historically has gotten Rocky Top rolling. Yeah, so much fun to watch playmakers outside that they can run by you and go make big plays. Opens up the whole field, the whole offense, and this Orange fan base goes absolutely bananas. They'll try the run. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively getting downhill and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. It's caught. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. They'll run it from the gun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run play action. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, ball! Great catch and run for six. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. 
That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be dragged down. So UTEP's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Back to pass. It's Locklear. Got his man quickly. Jumped on top of the pile. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boosters. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. And the Miners line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He gets a block. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, them to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Last play was a near disaster, now dealing with second and 13. Quick strike complete. At the 40, there he goes. Offense on the move. A big play there, gets it to the 30. That's a pretty impressive throw, man. That's given me Peyton Manning to Peerless Price memories back when I was watching them playing against them in college. That was a thing of beauty right there. There's a nice chemistry that this quarterback has with this group of wide receivers, and you see that in the timing of these throws. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Complete downfield. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. And the Vols have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tennessee! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone. Know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. 
That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. It's a draw. Oh. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. What a snag by the defense. They got him down pretty quickly after the pick, but what an opportunity here from the 23-yard line. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you can tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense fires in the traffic picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. Quickly complete. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle, bang, bang, bang. During the week, you got to talk to your quarterback. Quarterback, what do you like? What's your favorite, safest routes, easiest reads? Love coming out with those early with the short passing game. This offense set up with a second and short. On the run, it's Jackson. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, there was just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Dropping back, it's Locklear. He wants to go deep. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback, and now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Got his man in the middle. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. And the Volunteers racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll run it out of the shotgun. At the 35, he's got room. Finally brought down at the 31. It's a pickup of 15 yards on the play, and they've got a first down. It is a maxim of Tennessee football that you must be physical. Physical. It's, it's just kind of people they are, right? Tennessee people are physical. They want to do the dirty work. They're willing to do the dirty work. And you love it when your team has a bunch of grinders, a bunch of physical guys, a bunch of blue-collar guys that want to work. Using his legs to buy some time. 
on the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. And off from the shotgun. Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? To the ground to try to pick up the first. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that will extend their lead even further. Ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Scanning the field, it's block clear. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. Makes his connection. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Gives it to the back on the draw. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You could throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. The Miners will line it up on first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires to the big fella. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting the hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Dropping back, it's block clear. He's not afraid to go deep. Hits him in stride inside the 10. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route.
And the Miners trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Miners! It's a much-needed life from this offense as they try to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. If you're down, you got to make plays. you got to get your team back in it. Great start. Keep chipping away. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they punctuated it with a 5-yard touchdown run. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Gets it out fast. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. On the move, it's Sampson. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. The Vols come to the line in the hurry up. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. give to the running back you'll take this every time five yards on the first down play we have the early makings of a quarterback duel as these stats will show you Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Caught over the middle, it's McCoy. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. And this big orange offense getting it done in the passing game. And great execution by the quarterback. And when you think about Tennessee offense, Man, when they got their trigger man, and they've had some great ones. Peyton Manning, T. Martin, Hinton Hooker had an unbelievable run. They find that guy, man, their offenses have been so hard to stop. Off the play fake on first down. Going for the big play. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Volunteers. What a grab and go for the score. And how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. Number three is coming soon.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Back to throw, it's Rocklear. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes a connection. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. The Miners come to the line with a new set of downs. Using the quick game. Can anyone catch him? A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. And the Miners are in the hurry up. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Finds his man. It's Goodman. Makes the catch and he's brought down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing and all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver creating enough separation to create a positive game. After that last completion, it's second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. Absolutely perfect. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. 
Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Flying down the right side. And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown ball. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. The give to the tailback. Runs through a tackle. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out to the 25. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. To the air. It's block clear. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Is my backer showing some versatility? Think he always just has to stay home and play the run? Was bringing the pass rush that time. No, this ain't old school football anymore, Reese. These guys got to be so athletic, and you see them blitz and run games and all the different things they can do aside from making the calls and being the communicator on defense. These guys are as versatile as it gets. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Caught in the backfield. It's Goodman. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. The Miners will try to pin them back with the punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things. And he can't escape, and down he goes. That is exactly what this defense needed. They have not had a great first half, given up a bunch of touchdowns, but this might get them started. This might get the energy going and maybe rattle the quarterback a little bit with that sack.
The Volunteers will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And the punt will hit at the seven and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Looking for a crease, it's Jackson. Not much there, picks up a couple to the 22. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. So they're facing third and short from the 25. To the air. It's Glocklear feeling some heat. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. We haven't even gotten to halftime yet. This offense has their hands full trying to keep this quarterback standing up straight. They've already given up multiple sacks. That's the biggest reason why they're trailing by as much as they are. They better go in at halftime and make some big-time adjustments. And the Miners will send out the punt unit. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Looking for a block, it's White. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Breaks out another sweet move and gets it down to the 40. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. To the ground with the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Watching this Tennessee running back, man, he just runs with so much purpose, and it reminds me of guys that I used to play against, Jamal Lewis and Travis Henry, two great ball running backs that used to really test the physicality of our Gator defenses and some of those great games we had back in the late 90s. This dude right here, man, he just wears you down every single carry. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions couldn't get him blocked on that last one now it's second and 14. softened him up with a run now to throw and makes the grab in the end zone touchdown tennessee is there anything this dude can't do? He's channeling his inner Condridge Holloway, Heath Schuler, or dare I say, the great Peyton Manning. I bet he can't lead the band, Reese. I, I bet he's not allowed to do that. He's having himself a day, but he's not there yet. But man, putting up some stats, doing what he wants. This offense is absolutely cooking. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. 
This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking a loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play assignment football. Everybody doing their job. There was just nowhere to go there for the QB. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. He can't make the catch. He was open on the crossing route, and instead they're facing a fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Comes out throwing on first down. A little screen to the running back. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for me. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Dropping back, it's Ian Maleava. He's got it. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. This guy is just wearing them out. Another first down already has a couple of touchdowns in the first half, David. He has been a problem for this defense. And if I'm this offense, I'm going to continue to feature him. He's winning his matchups. I'm going to find him. It's just the first half, and he's already had himself a full game's worth of stats. He fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Three wideouts to the right on second and eight. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Sampson. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of them. From the gun on third down. Fires into the end zone. And that ball is picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision-making. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum. He just kept going backwards. You have to step up, and they get him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. So after giving up the deuce on the safety, now they'll be able to kick it away without a rush from the 20. Running it back, it's Bishop. Opening play of this drive comes from the 34. Going up top on first down. Makes the grab, it's Matthews. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. 
And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. They're going to stay aggressive here. Five wide on second and one. To the air. It's Iamaleava. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Vols will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a great one today in Knoxville so far. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas amidst the smoggy smoke there in Rocky Top. And the Volunteers will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. Looking for a man, it's Lockleer. He looks that one in nicely. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. Second down coming up. Caught behind the line. It's Odo. They work their way to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of five. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside give. Still on his feet at the 45. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the chains for the first down. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David, and they're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. They'll give it to him again. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. on first down at second and seven. Trying to beat him to the left. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Hey, how about it? How about the old toss play, right? QB catches the ball, tosses it to the running back. Listen, it's got to be thrown out in front of him so he can continue to run. And then that offensive line has to do a really good job of getting the edge so he can get north and south. You used to see that play a ton back in the day. You just don't see much of it anymore. Pocket starts to collapse. 
And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And this offense stays aggressive and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. The Miners decide to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Pulls it in. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. They were backed up, and then suddenly they weren't. They've got it first and 10 now inside the 50. Looking to the big tight end. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Well, the defense just did the quarterback a massive favor. That's the nicest thing they've done to him all game. They've already picked him off twice. That should have been number three. They'll line up for a second down play. On the run, it's Sampson. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Vols will call on their punt team. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds. And I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Movement here from the tight end. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll leave it with him. They opened the lane, and he hit it a gain of five out to the 33. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up, and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the defense was locked in. You could tell they saw it. They reacted right away. Got the running back on the ground immediately. And the Miners will bring the punt team onto the field. Makes a move. Dances away again. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Leaves it with the back. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position, it's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They go right back to it. The Volunteers get it past the sticks. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. Now from the 40, it's first and 10.
Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down at the 34, but they're sort of hitting them in the mouth with a six-yard pickup there. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Right down the middle. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, this guy's going to make catches all over the field. That time, he lined up all the way to the left side, and he was able to cross the entire field to make a catch on the right side. Defense lost track of him, and it ended up being a big play. And the Vols line it up with a first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleava. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Off play action. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Ball hasn't hit the ground a lot for this QB. He's already thrown four TD passes. He saw a look, wanted to take another shot, and that time they just fall short with the incompletion. But this defense, they have not had the answer with respect to defending the pass in this game. Six plays brought them here. Now number seven on third and goal. Let's it slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And they'll send out the field goal unit, and he'll try to knock through a short one his second of the day, this one from 23. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Fielded in the end zone, it's Thomas. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. To throw, it's lot clear. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is snowed under. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. From the shotgun, the inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. The Miners will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Here's the fair catch, but there is a flag on the field. We might have to do this one again.
So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Come on, receiver, you can make that play. You do it all the time in practice. Don't come out here on game day and start getting big eyes under the big lights. You gotta make that catch. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And the DB right with him to knock it away. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Miners send out the punt unit. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Takes the handoff. It's Sampson. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. To the air, it's Iamaleava. On the run, fires downfield. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. And the Volunteers line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think Brings it in down the left side. And he breaks into the open. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, UTEP! Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field, and my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. On to attempt the try. Smashes it through for the PAT. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. The run from the shotgun. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. 
Back to pass. It's Iamaleava. Moves away as he feels pressure. They make the stop, but he knew exactly how much he needed and where he needed to get for that first down. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're throwing it, you're trying to catch the defense napping, you might take a shot, nothing there. Go get it yourself. Make the right decision to keep it, not panic, and get you a fresh set of downs. Complete to the right. Touchdown, Volunteers! And the punishment has been extended. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they find Pater from way out, covering 69 yards on the touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike scored. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offensive approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. They're going to get him for a safety. Tried to make something out of nothing and still got stuck for the two. Yeah, and sometimes you get confused and you get lost when you're on the field, but not that far. And, and I just, I don't know how to explain this. I would love to give you words and, and break this down and be like, this is what he was thinking. I don't know what he was thinking. The kickoff team lined up. They'll have to give it back after giving up that safety. Looking for a block. It's Selden. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. The give out of the gun. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleava. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's McCoy. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the move. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. 
I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. The Vols are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Vols! And the stomping has commenced. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Now second and ten. Back to throw, it's Locklear. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man to the left. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Let's go. We got some life. We, we made a big play, something to build off of. We need a lot of points, and we need them quickly. Time's running out. We're trailing big in this ballgame. What an impact from that last explosive play. They were pinned down in their own territory. Now first and 10 from their own 45. Catch in the middle. It's Goodman. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. The Miners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Thomas. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They'll try the outside to the left. And the Miners have a first down. Well, a short yardage situation. They decide to go with the toss play. And nice job up front getting a little bit of push. That's all they needed to get that first. First and 10, they're down to the 25. Caught in the backfield, it's Odom. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Looking downfield, it's Locklear extending the play. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And eventually taken down, but what about that spin move? Gives him the first down yardage. And this offense has got it all working, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. 
Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this rhythm. The give to the back. Pulled down after picking up five to the six-yard line. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, running back gets the gift. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. Still looking on the move. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And this one splits the uprights. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain to climb. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. They'll go to the ground. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, and a great job by the defense holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility football, making sure they shut down that option play. Last two runs got a big, fat nothing. Let's see if they try to go up top on third and ten. The play-action fake. Getting some heat. Had to get rid of it quickly. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Volunteers will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Got it in the middle. It's Odom. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. Right now. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Looking for a man. It's Lottlier. He lets it fly. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. On third and long, he has to throw for it. 
Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. The Miners will line up to punt it away. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. The Volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? From the shotgun, they'll run it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. And the Vols will send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll bring it back. It's Thomas. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Trying to start the drive with a pass. They're trying to get to him. Going to try to get it himself. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking downfield, it's Glocklear coming after it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. I know this defense came into this game hoping to get pressure on the quarterback, but I don't know in their wildest dreams if they ever thought it was going to look this good. I lost track at five sacks. They have been all over this quarterback today. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, trailing this much in the fourth quarter, the offense is looking for an explosive play to try to ignite them and get them back in this one, but nothing doing. Nice job in coverage. And the Miners will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's White. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. From the gun, running back on the move. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for them. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll go right back to the run. Plows through the defense. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Across the 25, he's got room. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. 
Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating. And you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers. But now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. And the Volunteers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Slams ahead. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. Looking to throw, it's Lutlier. Now adjusting. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Goodman. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. Trying to get to him. Chunk it away just as he was hit. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. The Miners decide to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On the return, it's White. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Boy, they have delighted these home fans here by putting this game in a hammerlock, David. Yeah, and this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Palmer. Nice lead. This offense needs to go out and protect them. Yeah, they've been the more physical team all game long. So let's just run the ball. Let's just ice this football game, take the W into the locker room. That's the way to open a drive. Now they'll put it in play just shy of midfield. Right back to the well. 
They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. On the ground, it's Selden. On the move at the 30. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And you want to dominate the football game like these guys have all day, dominate the line of scrimmage. You know, turn and hand the ball off to your running back. It's a good recipe. It makes every quarterback better. It makes every OC better. Just turn, hand the football off, especially when you're winning the ball game. The inside handoff. Touchdown, Tennessee! And the pummeling has started. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. Lining up to add another. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And what a way to finish it off with a 21-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Dropping back, it's block clear. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. They say pressure bust pipes. This quarterback can attest to that. Goodness gracious, they're getting after him all day. There's a reason they're behind. Pressure the quarterback goes a long way to getting the W. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Grabbed over the middle. It's Odom. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. 